What's up travelers? In this video we are in Fremont, Seattle here at the Troll Under the Bridge but we are heading over to my favorite place in all of Seattle to eat. It's called Red Star Tacos for some fusion Mexican food. So stick around, check it out. It's gonna be a good time. All right, so we are sitting here at Red Star Tacos in Fremont, Seattle, Washington, which is also known as the center of the universe because it's such an interesting place to be. A lot of cool little things out in the neighborhood. We got like a giant Stalin statue. It's got a pumpkin on its head right now. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a rocket ship. There's like planets just hanging out off, off, off of light poles and stuff like that. But we are here. This is my absolute favorite place to eat in all of Seattle. Uh, I've been kind of gatekeeping this for this place for years from the channel because, well, I don't really come up to Seattle that often to record for one. But I'm here. It's, it's time to get some food. I just ordered a catfish taco, which is crusted with tortilla chips, and it comes with a remoulade and some pickles and some tartar sauce and, and some other stuff. I think there's some cabbage and stuff on there. I think I got a Baja fish taco, which is it's a it's a it's a bit more of a Mexican style taco than it, than the other one is. And then I got a Yucatan roasted pork, uh, and then I also got a. Uh, agave shrimp and a lote taco and I got half of them on corn tortilla which they make here in house and I got half of them on a really really thick almost it's almost like a handmade uh, flour tortilla but they're not handmade but, but I mean this place is just awesome they also have the best hot sauces in the entire world here the Callahan's hot sauces uh, my favorite is the darker one there. It's a it's a chipotle, but that one I believe is a habanero flavor. And oh man, it is so good. If you want to check the menu out, there's the, there's a QR code in the middle there. Hello mortals, it's me, your favorite Lord and Savior, Jesus. And I just wanted to take a short break from my very, very busy schedule of, uh, well, you know, miracles and uh, other Jesus duties up here to have a little divine intervention with you. You see, I wanted to tell you about a glorious YouTube channel called Tasting Travel. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I mean, you could trust me. I am like the most reputable person, well, ever. So, there's that. So be sure to give them a like and subscribe. And also, ring that notification bell so an angel can get its wings. Now, I'd love to stick around and rain down blessings, but I'm kind of like the busiest messiah ever. And I need to get back to these mansions because they're definitely not going to build themselves. So you stay blessed and don't do anything I wouldn't do. Amen. Jesus. Would you look at those tacos? That is such amazingness right there. Uh, so I was wrong about one of the tacos that I ordered. Uh, 
it wasn't the Baja fish that I got, it was the Italian beef, which I don't even know why I said Baja fish, because this is a fusion place. <laughs> but, oh man, I am really excited about this. The last time I was here, they didn't have the Baja fish, they didn't have the agave shrimp, they, they didn't have a lot of the stuff that's on the, on the menu there. So, here we are, let's dig into some of this. I imagine this is the fish taco right here. It's got some pickles. It's got some uh, crusty fish there. There's the pickles up there. Sauce, cabbage. Oh man, this thing is going to be great. Oh yeah, that is amazing. The fish is cooked perfectly, the texture of the, of the tortilla chips crushed into it. It just... Mm. This is that nice thick flour tortilla. It gives it a nice kind of spongy chewiness to it. It totally makes it worth it. And the cabbage it just gives it an amazing, amazing texture. Yeah, I would say it would be worth getting three of these for the $13.50 that it costs for three tacos. Alright, so this is my favorite hot sauce in the entire world. So, let's go ahead, throw this on the Yucatan pork taco. Oh yeah. So this one is on a corn tortilla. Yeah, that's what that looks like right there. I'm sure this is going to be a dream. It seems to have some some guacamole, some cabbage, some, some pickled onions, and some cilantro. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. That is a flavor that I've missed. Mm. You know, I probably should have got one more taco. It was a uh, black bean and sweet potato taco. Probably when I was when I was a vegetarian, it was my absolute favorite thing they had on the menu here. Mm. These in-house made corn tortillas are the perfect complement to this taco. All right, so now we're gonna get into the Italian beef here. It looks to have some serrano peppers and some uh, cauliflower, some carrots. Should be kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, it's nice and drippy. Mmm. <laughs> That's not what I expected. That is a, it's a sweet flavor. Um, not really what I would think of when I think of an Italian beef, but uh, oh, it is delicious. Kind of tastes like there's some sort of a pineapple in the background there. Mm. This is good. Those are the three tacos that I got for $13.50. This taco here, this one costs five dollars and fifty cents this is the shrimp and elote taco it's this thing is jam-packed get a better look here I don't want it all to fall out this thing is gonna be messy and I love that <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah, that is absolutely phenomenal. It's got a nice kick of spice to it, sweetness of the agave. Uh, the, the stuff that they put on top of it you know, with the, the mayo and the corn and everything just adds that creaminess to it that just makes it the perfect, perfect combination of flavors. I think I'm going to order probably a couple more tacos because it is now happy hour and they have what they call their dad's taco, which is their take on Taco Bell's old double-decker taco, and it's pretty awesome. It's been a long time since I've had one, so I'm going to get a couple of those, and we will be back after that. So if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I know you hate hearing it, I hate saying it, but if I don't ask, you don't do it. So. <laughs> uh, Let's make that a thing. There's going to be a lot more videos. I release videos once a week, every Tuesday right now. Um, once I'm able to move abroad, after I deal with all of my dad's estate and everything, I'm sure that number is going to go up probably two times a week. Alright, so we got our dad's tacos here. Like I said, they're, they're like a they're, they're take on the on the double decker tacos and Taco Bell, which you can't get anymore. But they got the, the, the flour tortilla and a hard uh, crunchy uh, corn tortilla with, with beans to stick it on there. And then inside you got your, your regular beef taco with sour cream, lettuce, onions, pico de gallo, you know, all the, all the regular taco stuff, and uh, black olives, but uh, yeah, this is, this is a good one, and like I said, you can only get it on happy hour, and I believe on Saturdays, happy hour is all day long, but uh, we've already, I already showed you the, the chipotle black pepper sauce of this, but this is the habanero. And uh, this is pretty good too. Not quite as good as the other one in my opinion, but still a really good sauce. So we're going to go ahead and load this sucker up. Alright, let's dig in. Yep. Taco Bell definitely has nothing on this. <laughs> of course not. This is an actual place. Taco Bell's just fast food. <laughs> but yeah, this is. They call it. They call it Dad's Taco because it's pretty much like what the what taco that your dad would have made or does make at home when you're growing up. It's it's the real deal. Definitely every bite is nostalgia. So here's what, what it looks like once you bitten into it a little bit. So good. Man, you know, I'm not really tasting much of that sauce. It does have a kind of a background kick to it, like it just comes in after, you, after you've been chewing for a little bit. It's not like most habanero sauces that you have, so it's not one that's up front and kicks you in the face. It waits a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, definitely come to Red Star Tacos and get your share. You're not going to be sad that you did. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, how about a like and a subscribe? I really appreciate it. It goes towards the algorithm, gets us, gets my videos out to more people. But you probably already knew that, so yeah, but definitely help me out. As always, eat great food.